Well, hello there, friend. Fancy seeing you here. Welcome back to uh, the Godzillinator show, yes. Where we do a little bit of this, we do a little bit of that. And today, well, show of hands, I want to know. Who wants to know where Invisible Woman fits into the meta? Right, she's kind of this, this outlier character where we really don't know where her use is, where her benefit is, because initially we thought all the Fantastic Four, they just got a new look. That was it. And then Human Torch, he surprised us by, by being the one-shot king. He is just absolutely amazing. So what I, what I had to do in order, in order to see exactly where, where she fits here, because I've tested basically two characters so far. I've tested Iron Man, and then I've tested, of course, Human Torch. And in order to test her against them, I had, I had to give her a, a build similar to the, both, to the both of them. So Iron Man, he's got eight Odin's Blessings, and then aside from the Odin's Blessings, um, he has two Mythic Energy Attack Uru. Um, that's basically the, the, the value on his, on his uh, Uru here. And then he has a Stage 8, and he's got a Mighty Energy. And then this guy here, he's got nine Odin's Blessings, right, with two Energy Attack Uru, Mythic. Um, a stage 10 and then he has a judgment it works really well for him they all have mythic uniforms and over here she has eight odin blessings two energy attack guru stage nine and then she has a regular proc obelisk as of right now um, we're going to be swapping that for a mighty energy and we're going to see exactly how she stacks up i think she might be a bit closer to iron man we're gonna find out but you know i took her in for a couple test spins and, and she's she's not that bad she's not that bad for for pve um for pvp i'm not i'm not really sure i don't know if she she really has it to to be like a timeline contender um maybe an ac contender so um it, it might have to be for a separate video to do pvp testing because um i want to know if she can if she can can truly compete with with iron man and in in human torch because um if i remember correctly iron man was actually he was like right on par with, with human torch in terms of taking him into null i think i would have had to take him to a higher level to to really see where like the divide starts falling but here's the thing with the fantastic four they all can take advantage of this guy's lead and he's, he's got he's got a pretty nice lead right 65 percent increase to all attacks did he get anything on on his uniform i don't think he did no just just to himself and he didn't get anything additional that that applies to uh to the rest the rest of the family but thing has this guy right here he's, he's the family man right he's got uh increase all attack by 40 percent and then uh increase damage delta boss types by 25 percent and then he has some some defensive stuff you know that that applies to uh that applies to the whole team and then he's got another 15 percent um max hp on his uniform that applies to all the allies as well so um yeah we're, we're gonna take her in we're gonna test her with this regular proc and then we're going to swap that out for that energy as i mentioned and then um and then we're gonna test her against iron man and johnny storm with with maybe a couple different leads because like i said she can take advantage of of the makers makers lead so that, that that might be the thing here all right let's uh let's jump into this all right sneaky bandit's gotta gotta come in here and he's gotta clear some things up so i went ahead and i cut some things out of the video yeah it was me i did it uh what i cut out of the video was her run with a regular proc obelisk because i think what you really want to see is is her with this with the same build as them and comparing them um i'll tell you the difference because i i ran Iron Man and Torch with a regular proc obelisk, and um, she was about seven seconds behind Iron Man, and I'm pretty sure Torch was only like a couple seconds faster than Iron Man, or they were like right on par. So she's not too far behind with a regular proc obelisk, but you're gonna see the results of how she stacks up with or with with the same build pretty much as them. Also, is anybody else running this issue? Um, I believe it's Sector Two and Three where you get the the um, uh, mutant mutant materials, right? Phoenix feathers and Emcron crystals. And if you if you're capped on them, right? They just go to your inbox. I mean, they, they just they need to remove that cap at this point. I mean, come on now, it's just getting ridiculous. So they all just sitting here and you know just I mean it's like I can scroll for days on these things. It's ridiculous. Fix that net marble, please, please fix it. I'm asking nicely. All right, sneaky bandit out. Enjoy your broadcast. Will she will she be able to keep up with uh, with her brother here? Um, and then what I could even do is I could test them both with. Uh, make her make her lead and then think support and and you know just torch and then and then invisible woman we'll see exactly how they stack stack up next to each other 
So I'm going to destroy this guy. It's actually not a bad um, uh, obelisk, but we'll give her this one here. I think that's that's going to be fair. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, beautiful. Okay, let's let's jump back into some, some null. All right, ladies and gentlemen, because um, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to take long, um, so this way we can get an idea of, you know, what the difference is between that proc and then this energy here. You know, just so you guys get an idea of, of exactly what you're getting out of the bargain. If, if you do decide to, if you wanted to give her a mighty energy, right? All right, here we go. So four, three, six, five. You got it. You got to be quick with it. Wow. Not too shabby. It's no, no torch, no torch. But the thing is this, torch relies on that accumulation, right? So on the... When the awakened skill isn't being used, um, you know the damage won't really fall off because his damage, his damage doesn't necessarily fall off, but it's obviously you know a, a little bit less. So that I, I suppose that's the silver lining and not having the accumulation, but here we go. So, I mean, let's look at her. She's she's invisible because she's the invisible woman. So, not too bad. I mean, he's a done deal there. So, what, about 4, 4, 10? And she was 3, 48. So, that, I mean, that, that's a huge, huge difference. All right. Now, let's see exactly where she stacks up here. I'm, I'm anxious to see because I really, I have no idea. I have no idea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal. This is what we're going to do. I'm just going to give them an ignore dodge lead, and I'm going to run Iron Man, Invisible Woman, and then Torch. Or let's do Iron Man, Torch, and then Invisible Woman. And then I'm going to go up to stage 19 and do Maker Lead, Think Support, and then run Torch and Invisible Woman. Man, oh man. Strikers coming on the field, messing us up, getting us all trapped up in that Clintock cage. I threw a flag down, but they just they didn't want to hear it. They didn't want to listen to me. And I'm, I'm trying to get them like a perfect run. Perfect run. And for some reason, because Iron Man, he, he's, got, he's got the buff, right? The 50% attack buff that you could pass to a skill for one attack, 50% on his five. But you would think you'd want to do like, right, if you're procking on four, like three, five, four. But in order, in order to pass, you got to do five, three, four. It's very strange. Um, not sure why that is, but that, that's just the way it is. So if you're playing them, that's basically that's the way you want to play them. Five, three, four, and then four, five, three, six. If you're playing them with with the proxy, four, five, three, six. And yes, we got it. We got it. We definitely got it. Wow, dude, that's insane damage. That is absolutely insane. Okay, so we want to do five, three, four. Bada bing, bada boom. Man, this might be his fastest time yet. Seriously, no joke. No cap. Am I saying that right? No cap? Okay, so I'm, all right. So four, five. No. What is going on? Okay, we got it, though. We got it. We got it. Um, I think that's as good as it's going to get. Yeah, for some reason, you saw I couldn't, like, the five didn't let me hit it. But um, four, 16, that's, that's not shabby at all. That is not shabby at all. Um, because with Cyclops, with Cyclops support, um... The same, well, I did stage 14, but that was, um, that was 418. So this, this was definitely a really good run for him. So let's, let's, let's try Torch now. Yeah, okay, so, so incidentally, indirectly, I'm, I'm testing, I'm doing the Iron Man Torch test as, as well. I was going to save that for like a separate video, but I don't know, maybe I'll still even do that video. I'll test them in like Danger Room. I'll test them in Mephisto as well, because we're only just doing Null here. And Torch seems really strong for Mephisto. Like, it seems like he shines in Mephisto. All right, here, here we go again. Like I said, you know, trying to get trying to get a, a better run for, for the, each of them. As close, as close to perfect as possible. And incidentally, this is... Okay. Three, six, five. My goodness gracious. Look at that boy go. He's on fire. Yeah, sometimes there's just not much we can do about getting trapped up there. Three, five, let that tornado fly. Under the deuce, deuce. Okay, we're, we're gonna try to outrun this. Is that proc gonna go off again from that tornado? Are you gonna go off? Are you gonna go off? No, nope. but you know what? Somebody came, yeah, it did go off. <laughs> and somebody popped on the field there. Come on, man, I'm throwing flags. I'm throwing flags. Three, six, four, five, and four. Boom. 
Okay, so basically same time as Iron Man. Same time. For some reason, like, he seems so much faster, right? But he, it's basically it's the same time. Same time, man. All right, now for the true test. Let's see where Invisible Woman stacks up. Can, can she keep up with these boys? I don't know. I don't know. I think she might she might be maybe a little little bit slower. Let's uh let's find out. All right, now finally for the showcase, Miss Invisible Woman. How does she stack up next to Iron Man and Torch? Cuz they're strong, man. They they got they got some serious reworks. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Definitely got that prop there. It's very nice. I mean, down to 53 bars, it's really not not too shabby. And in a, in a clip. I want to make sure we're hitting all these procs here. It seems like we are. I definitely like her survivability, right? She's got that, um, you know, the invisibility that kicks in. It's definitely helpful. I, I, I'm pretty sure when I was playing, it actually um, helped avoid her from getting trapped up in the twin uh, tower cage. So, she already... Basically, they were done at this point. They were done at this point. So, she's definitely... She's behind just, just by a little bit here. Let's see exactly how far she's behind. Okay, that's not good. Did she finish it off here? Maybe. Did she do four bars? Yes, she did. Okay, so... 355 355 so she's about what 20 seconds she's about 20 seconds behind behind iron man which is which is a little bit that's definitely a little bit all right now we're gonna do maker lead thing support and then human torch and invisible woman and i think this will be the true test because you're gonna want to utilize these tools right um the tools at your disposal and we're gonna go up we're gonna go up a few stages we're gonna go up to stage 19 and do this all right, one last and final test. Let's see how she stacks up next to Gambit, right? Because we all, we all know where Gambit where Gambit fits. So I, th I think this will be something good to actually do. But the only thing I can do with them is I'll have to run her on a stage higher than him. I'll have to run her on stage 15, him on stage 14, obviously. Because he's a mutant, not a human. I'm thinking she's going to be more on Gambit's, um, on Gambit's level. That, that, that's my guess. And I'm not going to give her anything, anything additional. Nothing additional. But I think with, if you gave Invisible Woman, you know, Maker's lead along with Along with things support, you know, she could be much closer to, to Iron Man, right? And just because that's actually available. Okay, so four minutes. Four All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Once again here, we're just going to run the same strikers. Um, and I gave her make her lead with thing support. So, let's see if she can uh, rock out here and really impress us. I mean, you have to imagine, right, she's going to be a lot faster a lot. Okay, yeah, this is four, you know, four stage, four stages up. I mean, maybe I should run on the same stage. All right, stage 15, keep it there and see exactly what that difference is, what they're offering, right? Not too shabby, not too shabby. I mean, could she be faster than Iron Man with all this support? Because it doesn't seem like she's going to be faster than, than Torch, right? Because Tor Torch is going to get the same exact support that um, that she's getting. And she was, she was faster, you know, before. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should run the same stage. That might be a thing to do. Okay, so four, four minutes. She's clocking in at four minutes. Um, on stage 19 now now let's do uh, do the swap all right and here we go so he's actually getting an you know more attack um, because if you look 
she doesn't get the same team up. She actually gets no additional team up. He gets two all attack and then uh, some crit damage as well. So it is what it is though. Like I said, you know, these are the tools at their disposal. So he just, he just gets a little bit more. He gets a little bit extra. So she clocked in at four minutes there. Let's see where, where this guy clocks in. So we want to do three, six, five, boom, and then four. Those man bummer we couldn't get we couldn't get past the the additional oh he's doing it again okay that that's actually good for him so this way you don't have to wait for it another time oh, you know i should have let the five play out just for a second it's all right though i don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference let's just wait for this awakening skill i think that's gonna be the thing to do we want to spawn that tornado on five. Wow. Wow. Okay, so he's about <laughs> 21 seconds faster than Invisible Woman. 21 seconds. Okay, I mean, that, that that's saying something. So, she's definitely not as strong as, as Torch. That's that's for sure. That's for sure. But, you know, we all... He, he's strong, though. He is very, very strong. All right, so I was I was I was gonna run uh, an invisible woman again, but um, duh, I'm a dunce, and I just realized that I I basically ran that same team up, right? Basically, no support, just an ignore dodge lead, which I just did with with uh, with um, Gambit, and uh, she clocked in at 3:55, so she's and that's a stage higher, so I'd I'd say they're they're pretty much on par with each other. They're they're definitely on par with each other. I'd say her survivability is probably, you know, a bit better than than all the others just because she has more PvP stuff in her kit, right? She's got this um, this invisibility uh, buff. She has some damage decrease. What else does she have? She has she has this this guard here. Yeah, this grants 75% invisibility. And then what was this one? This one was when using invisibility buff. Then then that's when this other stuff kicks in. That's what it is. So. She's she's not bad. She's definitely not bad. Um, and I gave her I, I gave her the same exact build as these other characters have. Actually, Gambit's build is a bit better than hers. Like if we go over to Gambit, I bet if she had the same exact build as Gambit because he has a fully awakened ISO 8 set and he's got three um, let's see three seven ten fourteen. He's got fourteen Odin's blessings. So and his mighty is for the six percent and hers is on the five percent so i would say if their builds were exactly the same she might even be a little bit ahead of ahead of gambit that that's that's pretty much where where i would put her but man they they just they did iron man and, and torch so good on this update they did them very very good um now like i said i mean for for i don't think she really has any value in timeline um a she ac she could she could definitely be be a threat right you give her a proper pvp build sure i mean she was already doing work in ace in, in alliance conquest like for me i think i had her a level 64 and she was she was taken out she was taking out good teams um she was definitely one of the stronger non-awakened non-tier three characters that you know you, you'd want to you'd want to throw in there so now that she's transcended and has some extra extra you know tools in her kit um i think she could definitely do a bit more work for you um, now if, you know, like I say, if we're ranking them, um, you know, Torch, Iron Man. Now, I, I think I'm going to have to do like a full video between Torch and Iron Man. I don't think that test was enough. You know, I'll take him into like Danger Room Extreme, right? We all know how strong he is. Can Iron Man, I don't, I, I mean, can Iron Man one shot? Eh, I don't know. Cause he can definitely one shot. He can one shot for me in any case. Um, we'll have to take him into Mephisto and see exactly where they are. Cause I mean, Torch is only, he's only a few seconds or a couple seconds faster than Iron Man at this point. Iron Man is strong and his build is just slightly less than his. So yeah, that, that's where I put her. That's where I put her as far as in this update. Yeah. She's not as strong as Torch. She's not as strong as Iron Man but she's not that far behind and i'd say she's she's right on par with gambit maybe even a little bit stronger than gambit um so you know if you have gambit on your account and you know what kind of work he does for you i'd say you can you can expect the same from from invisible woman maybe even a little bit more probably even a little bit more and her survivability like i said is even going to be a little bit better than his so um i'm not going to get the thing in this video um 
you know, I, I think I think it would just be pushing the link just a little bit too far. Maybe we could do a separate a separate video for thing. You know, I give them a proper PvP build. I'll test them out with like I don't know, just you know, the, this obelisk, and then I'll swap something like a uh, you know a regular. Let's see, I got something in here. Just yeah, guard break invincibility um, obelisk. So, you know, something like this, and then even put you know put a regen on them. I think I have a good one rolled. This one here, throw that on them and see uh, see if you could do some some timeline work for us. Uh, but yeah, in any case, I'd say they probably make a good AC team. Now I'm not hearing good things about Maker. You know, I've, I've seen people say that you know they have they have a really good build on them. They took him into ABX and he's just he's just not cutting it. He cannot hang with Apocalypse. Um, and is he really going to do any other PV PVP work for, or PVE work for you? I mean, does he have any PVP value? Can you throw a regen on this guy and will he work? I, I haven't tested him out to that capacity, but could essentially, you know, you have an AC team where it's like Maker, Invisible Woman, and Thing. You, you'd want to use Invisible Woman's lead. It, it, you know, it stinks. It would have been nice if they gave her the same passive that Cersei has, right? That apply, you know, remove all debuff. This way you could actually use Maker's lead and you know thing and, and then invisible woman for for some support if that was the case if that was the route that you were going to take um because you you're going to want to build you're not going to want to put torch on that team because torch is just too good for 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 pve he, he just he just is we we learned that and yeah uh, i mentioned the last one but yeah i'm going to go ahead and i'm, I'm going to stack this guy up a bit more because he can obviously go a lot further right there's there's many slots on here that aren't filled and we're, we're, i intend to fill them and probably a mighty judgment as well and see where where his max capacity lies so i'm gonna end it there guys um i hope you enjoyed it you know we, we at least learn exactly where she fits into this meta and like i said she's not that bad she's not that bad so i wouldn't feel bad about about building her so there it is ladies and gentlemen we got more on the way so you better stay tuned you stay breezy but most of all friend you stay safe out there now peace